Hey everybody, welcome back to our channel and welcome back to another video. So today's video is going to be a grocery haul. Um, I needed to pick up a few things. Alan and I are still doing Mediterranean keto this week and then next week. So we're on, it's Friday here and we're doing Mediterranean keto, which is lots of seafood and lots of veggies. So we were out of some things, which is really good that we, we've been able to use up some stuff almost totally out of all of the fresh veg we had in the fridge and i bought several bags of spinach we had some cucumbers so a couple things that we do need to eat up there but for the majority um, we have eaten everything that i bought so i got some stuff for ourselves, and i got some stuff for jackson so i did want to run you through uh, a couple things that i got so um praise report I did, still did not have to spend my grocery money because I, I had extra grocery money left. But an unexpected check came in the mail. I uh, had somebody call me last week, somebody I know in my personal life, call me, but a very unexpected individual. So not a relative or any, anybody like that. Just a, I hate to say a random person because I know them. But anyway, individual called me. She said, hey, Shakima, um, I got your address from so-and-so person, but... I, and I sent you something, but it got returned. So I looked, she, um, she said, send it back to me. So I had sent her the right address and she sent, um, she said, I'm going to send it back in the mail. Well, lo and behold, I get to the mailbox today. Cause I don't go, I don't go to my mailbox every day. Um, cause we now we're not, you know, nobody's behind on bills. So we're not ducking the bill guy and we pay all of our bills online. So I rarely go to my personal mailbox. But I opened up the card from her and um, she just said, Dear Shakima, just wanted to bless you and your family, her and her husband. Um, and they sent us $100. And that was awesome. Out of nowhere. Like, really. These are people we know. They're in our life. But it was just a randomized thing. So that was a blessing. And it helped us to be able to get these types of things. So I got a couple stock up things. And then... Um, just some things for keto, Mediterranean anyway. So let's start over here. Um, I have been looking in Walmart for peanut butter and have yet to be able to find any that doesn't have um, anything other than peanuts. So I finally found this um, Crazy Riches 100% peanuts, natural peanut butter, and the only ingredient is peanuts. Finally, the only ingredient is peanuts. So I got a crunchy to have in my yogurt and I got a creamy to have in my yogurt. Sometimes I like a crunch, sometimes I don't. They were $2.36 a piece. Same thing with the um, Parmesan cheese. We're all out of that. The two good yogurt. Now I tried when I did um, Nicole Burgess's list because I looked at her video for Mediterranean. She had Faye yogurt or YQ something, 100% Greek. Okay, so... I cannot eat Faye. I just cannot stomach it, period, unless I cook with it. So what I've started doing is using it like sour cream and just putting it in like uh, broth and soups and stuff. But in order for me to eat yogurt, I had to get the two good. That is um, 124 each. Picked up a big thing of baby spinach. That was three six. That was 318. Um, blueberries were 424. Strawberries were like three something I can't remember. Uh, mini cucumbers were two dollars and some change. The um, America's Clear Water were fifty-seven cents each. Jackson asked for apples, Gala apples, three pounds for less than three dollars, two ninety-four, ninety-seven, something like that. Cauliflower got five bags; they were a dollar each. Now we all know that we cannot be without coffee. I tried to get the big one; they were out, so I got this classic uh, roast decaf for. Um, three dollars and 72 cents something like that i picked up some at food line the other day and i drink a lot of coffee and it was um cap uh apple caramel apple decaf and alana was making coffee this morning and she was like oh that smells good enough to eat <laughs> so um it doesn't taste like caramel apples but i do enjoy a good coffee but they only had i was just trying to stay within my budget so i picked that up 
because I haven't been to Costco in a couple weeks to get the big one. Um, we got the value bags of shrimp. They were like $10 each, $9 and some change. And then I got a two pound bag of tilapia fillets. They were $6 and 17 cents, something like that. So I'll be using these in meals. Um, Alana does the clear lax. She needs that for digestion. That was the um, Walmart brand at $4 and 32 cents. I was so happy that that was cheap. Oh, that's two weeks worth. And then we got some of the sugar-free raspberry vinaigrette from G. Hughes. And then the uh, sweet vinaigrette from G. Hughes. We probably should have just got balsamic or an Italian or something. But um, that's what I got. They were like $3 and some change. Vegetable broth because Jackson has been eating a lot of our meals this week as long as we're doing seafood. And so if I use a broth, I want to use something he can have. That was 2 bucks. Picked up him some uh, variety oatmeal that was like um a dollar 90 some cent something in that picked up some uh party size of the pork cracklings i like the max because these have like the meat on them those are my fave i don't like just the plain little skinny ones that don't have anything in the middle i like these we picked up some um sargento ultra thin sharp cheese slices they were 268 this was like 468 i think it's almost five dollars but it's the party size and then the other day i was in there and i got jackson some of this for his popcorn and then he didn't really like what i picked out i got him chile limon or something like that so this time i got him ranch i got um cheesy caramel corn and then i got nacho cheddar cheese for his um popcorn and then what i've been doing or try i only tried it one time was i, I had a couple pork rinds i sprayed it with a little bit of spray oil and then i just uh, shook some of that on there to get a little flavor worked out perfectly fine but um they were dollar 88 each so all in total at walmart um i spent 96 13 and i did use cash so um the seafood was very expensive this week and then of course getting your fruits and then the peanut butter you know it's just things are expensive things are going up prices are going up you're not getting as much as you used to for your dollars but i think sometimes if you just smart uh, shop smarter you know this will last a couple trips these will last a couple trips um this will last me because I'm the only one who eats this. Sister doesn't eat peanut butter. And we have another peanut butter that I bought that had some additional ingredients in. But Jackson will eat that. So mom will eat these. That'll take me a couple months to go through because I don't have peanut butter all the time. But um, there it is. We're doing, making the best of what we have and utilizing the resources and thankful that God blesses us when he does. So anyway, you guys, there it is. Our grocery haul um bonus haul just because the lord blessed us so we're we're thankful for that um and that's how it goes if you like this video don't forget to thumb it up don't forget to subscribe if you haven't um share this video with any of your friends we'd love to have some new people join our community and we're thankful for those of you th that have been with us so we'll see you guys next time bye now